Hello my friends, this is Bud Rich and this is Multimedia Capture Menu. And I thought we will continue on our Ulf uh, series here, uh, uploading files to 0x0. Zero zero. Um, and in the last uh, part we, we uploaded selected text. Um, and now I want to upload some, some more um, things like uh, screenshots also screen recordings and maybe uh, also both video and audio and all of those are kind of related so i thought let's let's uh, create a little menu so we can choose what kind of capture we want if we want a full screen screenshot select a part of a of the screen or a window or a video with with or without audio and so on let, let we, we will create a menu but I think I want to start with uh, a little correction here from my last video about this error function, you know, um, so, so you could uh, output stuff into uh, either the terminal or send a notifi notification if, if the script was executed from, from, uh, from a key combination, uh, for instance. And almost uh, immediately after I had recorded the video, I discovered uh, a flaw in, in, in that method. And I would like to show you what that flaw was and how I fixed it, at least for now. I will probably discover some, some other issue with it. Whatever. Um, let's do this. Let's comment these guys out and not have it as a function here and change this to one because this was how it looked like in, in that video. We use this test dash T one uh, and that does this and I have already prepared this script here snap which will be the script we create the menu and stuff in. I am terminal because it echoes here. I am terminal to standard error. If I execute the script with the key binding, which I also have prepared here uh, in i3 bind sim mod shift c, no, I'm not. It, it execute this notify send here. But the problem here is when this is executed from within a subshell, which is not that uncommon, uncommon that you would do. Uh, because um, if you do something like this, uh, you have a function with this test inside of it and then you, you want the output of the function inside a variable, for instance. You would write it like this, right? And now if I execute snap here from the terminal, I get the notification because now this test is false. And that is because we are testing if standard uh, out, remember zero, that is standard input. One is standard out and two is standard error. So now we are testing if standard uh, out will go to a terminal. And that is false because when we do this, for instance, then standard out is actually uh, redirected to yeah, this variable uh, or this subshells or, or whatever it is. But it, anyways, it's false. But if we change this test to standard error instead, because standard error is kind of more likely to be outputted into a terminal and this makes this um, much more reliable and now it will actually work now it prints to the terminal super shift c it prints to to uh, notification so i just wanted to clarify that and i have updated this uh, script that's found on github so it uh, now has a two instead of a one in the test just wanted to clarify that because we will probably use uh, this method both for errors and maybe other cool things uh, later in this video or upcoming videos, uh, whatever. Let's remove this stuff now and create the menu. And I demoed that uh, not that long ago, uh, my, my script uh, i3 menu, which is a wrapper for Rofi to make it easier to create menus that, that have some special functionality when you're running it, running it inside i3. Um, let's create a list here. Uh, printf percentage s new line one, two, three. Pipe that to i3 menu. Save super shift C and we get a menu here. One, two, three at the top of the screen here. Great. Um, <clears throat> uh, 
And um, let's start by, by uh, configuring our i3 menu here to the way we want it to be. I would like uh, a vertical menu to start with. So save there, super shift C. Now we get a vertical layout instead. That's great. But it's a bit wide, right? 100%. You can set the width to 3, 3, 3 is good. Super shift C. Now we get a better menu, but it's, I don't like the position here uh, because one, it's it's a, it overlays the bars. It just it, it just looks weird. And two, this is also the default position for my notifications here, uh, the top uh, left corner. So I would rather have it at the top right corner. And then we can use the new functionality that I just added. Here is i3s on GitHub, and I up updated this today. I will make a quick update again right after I have recorded this video because I noticed a, a, a small thing, but whatever. You can now use negative positions. So if, if, if we write, um, give it this option, expos minus 20, super shift C. Now it's positioned 20 pixels from the right side of the screen. Uh, this wasn't possible before. You had to, to, to always specify a positive number. Minus 20 would put it outside of the left screen here. If you, if you still want that, you can instead use uh, X offset. I think this will work now, I hope so. No, it didn't work. Whatever, I, I will fix that and another thing, but you can use uh, X plus uh, uh, minus 20 to get it on the right side of the screen, like this. And to have it uh, below the bar, we just uh, set the Y position uh, to 30 or something. There, now we have a good friendly menu here. Uh, another thing I would like is, or let, let's leave it like this for now. Um, this menu, the first menu we will display here to choose what kind of capture we want. Uh, let's create an array holding the different actions to choose from. So actions equals parentheses point point God damn it. God damn it. Um, screenshot. That's the action we want. Full screen. Screenshot. Selection. And then I also like, uh, well, let's do this. Uh, full screen. No cursor. Whatever. Save. Uh, now we have an array here. Uh, so instead of this stupid one, two, three list, we can just use our array. So actions bracket at boink so save super shift C. And we got our list here with the different uh, uh, options. Last thing is that now this list contains an entry box here. So we can filter the list by, by typing in it like this. And sometimes uh, I don't like to have this uh, uh, feature at all, this entry box. It can get, and, and, and here it's difficult to search. It's almost the same name and stuff, you know. You, you will probably never use the filtering here. And we will also not have that many options, maybe six options at most here. So you can, it's faster to select it with the tab key. And then I actually like to disable the entry box. And that's also really easy to do with the i3 menu here. You just add the include and then just the L for list. Save. Now we only have uh, the list. And notice how it uh, adjusted the position and stuff uh, to, to take, take the, the lack of entry box into account. So that's the uh, foundation here for, for our... Um, capturing stuff. We will populate this menu with more things like screencast and maybe uh, audio recording also. And we will of course create uh, create the actions to take when, when we select something. But I think we do that. We, we start with that in the next uh, video. And then we will use uh, a program called uh, MAME, 
which is a great uh, screenshot uh, command line program that we can use to take screenshots. But uh, let's dedicate a whole video for, for that instead of squeezing it in here. Um, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.